Do you know what a consonant is? If you've learned English for a while, chances are that you do. But chances are also good that you don't pronounce them correctly. We will see soon enough. In recent videos, we've talked a lot about the English vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Vowels are important shapers of word pronunciation. Today we're going to look at consonants, which are the rest of the English letters, and discover one important pronunciation principle about them. According to the dictionary, a consonant is a speech sound produced by partial or complete obstruction of the airstream by various constrictions of the speech organs. What does that mean? Basically, it means that a consonant sound is formed by closing your mouth in some way instead of opening it. Conversely, vowel sounds are made by opening your mouth. Consonants form the beginning and ending of syllables, but the main sound comes from the vowel. Because of this, as we have mentioned in a previous video, syllables cannot be without vowels. Consonant pronunciation is important, and the thing we need to remember is not to add sounds that are not actually part of the consonant sound. However, it seems that what we're teaching our young children in English class is not totally correct. I do have a son in preschool. For example, when we teach the letter B, we might say something like B, 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 B. Does that sound familiar? In the example just mentioned, we have learned the word ball. As we know, the word ball is spelled B-A-L-L. -L. Using a normal pronunciation guide, we might come up with something like this. B, A, O, ball. Since ball is an easy word that we already know, it's easy to pronounce it correctly without even sounding it out. But if this were a new word and we were trying to pronounce it using the normal pronunciation guide, we might come up with something like ball. The difficulty here is that consonants are not the main sounding part of a syllable, meaning that trying to pronounce a consonant by itself is difficult. When we do pronounce it, we usually add a vowel sound at the end so that it is easier to say. Just try to pronounce the letter B without opening your mouth at the end. Fortunately, after learning the basic sounds of the alphabet, there is no need to continue to try to pronounce each individual consonant on its own. Once we start making syllables and words, the consonants and vowels go naturally together. So I'm not going to be a stickler and insist that you must pronounce each of the consonants by themselves correctly. But you do need to be aware that using the normal pronunciation guide, Vowels are often added to some of the letters to make it easier to pronounce. But to make sure when you're actually pronouncing a word not to add those extra vowel sounds in. Nonetheless, for reference, let me speak each of the consonant sounds. But also be aware that even myself, as a native speaker, also have trouble pronouncing these consonants by themselves correctly. B, B, C, K, D, D, F, F, G, G, H, H, J, Ch, K, L, M, N, N, P, P, Q, K, R, R, 
S S T T V F W w X X Y Y Z Z Although it may not be practical or even necessary to be able to correctly pronounce each individual consonant, I hope you have been able to learn the principle here and it does help you to improve your pronunciation. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.